Many people take notes based on web pages. So today I will show you three different ways that you can work with web pages, with capacities and with some other tools that we have integrations with. The first and most simple approach is with the capacities web extension. This is available through the browser stores of all major browsers. So go to your browser, install it. The links will be below and then come back to this video. When you click on the capacities web extension, it will capture the information of the web page that you are on. So that's the cover image, the title, the link, of course, and a description if there is one. It brings you this window and here you can add tags. You can use multiple and separate them with commas. And it also gives you a text block. And with this approach, you can read the web page and work out what it is specifically about it that you want to send to capacities. And once you've worked out what that is, you can write that down and then click save to capacities. You will then see a screen that shows you where you can open it. So web app or the desktop app. And this will also show up if you tried to save a web link you've already got. And that way we avoid duplication. This is what that transforms into in capacities. So you've captured the core information plus what you have added to it. And then it can join the rest of your note taking workflow. This is a simple solution available to all users as long as you're using one of the major browsers. But you might find that instead of capturing the link and general notes about the page, you might want to capture highlights specifically. And if that is the case for you, you should look at our web highlights or our Readwise integrations. We will start with the web highlights integration. Web highlights is a very popular browser extension, which supports highlighting both web pages and PDFs. Our integration does not support PDFs. So that's why I'm only going to discuss web links in this video. Now you can have a look at this website in detail to see if you like it in general and of course have a look at the various pricing plans but I will spend this video showing you what it can actually do with capacities. When you've got a web page that you would like to highlight open up the web extension and you'll get the sidebar pop up on the left. It captures the core information about the web page with a summary and tags that you can add if you would like and it also means that when you select text you gain the ability to highlight it. So I've selected it and I see this button and I can choose from various colors. Once I've created a highlight, I can see them listed in the left side. And now I can choose what to do with them. It might be that I just want to leave the highlights on the page. If I navigate away from this and then come back to it one day in the future, these highlights will be overlaid. So I know I've already captured them into web highlights, but I might want to work with them further in capacities. If that's the case, you can click on these three dots and click export to capacities. Now this button requires an API key to work, meaning it's a Capacities Pro feature. You can follow the instructions and in our documentation to set that up, which I will link below. When I click that, you can see that it's saving. I will then get a button to open it in Capacities. And you can see that it's a very similar format to what I saved from the web extension, but the highlights specifically have imported into Capacities as a highlight block. And highlight blocks have some special features and obviously a different visual format. So for example, if I turn this highlight block into a quote, it still looks like a highlight. So it's clear that it's not my words, it's from a highlight and I can see where it has synced from. That synced information is available here as well. If you don't like this highlight, block you can just press clear and it's back to normal text but these highlight blocks still function like normal text they just look a bit different and have some extras so i can add any of my tags or link to any object that exists or indeed i can create an object as well but with this you still have to choose to sync it to capacities this can be really helpful for making sure that the things that are in capacities are only what you actually want to work on and whose highlights you actually want to integrate with the rest of your notes. But if you're looking for a more automated approach or something that works for many different media types, then you might be interested in our Readwise integration. So I'll show you that next. Just like everything else I've shown so far, once you've installed the extension, you can click on it. And this is an integration specifically with Readwise Reader. Behind the scenes, it all works with Readwise, but this is why you can see open in reader here. Now, this integration allows you to highlight in the page like you are in. So I can highlight like that, or you can navigate away from the web page that you are on 
and read it in Readwise specifically, which has some extra features such as being able to listen to it and it shows you the metadata and there's an AI summary as well. So it just depends on which reading experience you prefer. Now, there's a whole video dedicated to setting up the Readwise integration, so I won't include it here. But the setting I have applied here is that any item which then gets highlights is automatically synced to capacities. So instead of having to choose to highlight and then choose to import into capacities, as long as Readwise can see a highlight, it's going to add this capacities tag in the background. And what that will do is sync it to capacities. And this is what that looks like. So you can see that it is still synced and it still has the highlight with the same highlight block options that we saw with web highlights, but this is done behind the scenes. So if you're finding that you are regularly highlighting various different types of media, web pages, PDFs, podcast notes, tweets even, Readwise can deal with all of that and our integration will import that into capacities automatically. It will keep it in sync as well. There we go. I added extra highlights and they've synced two capacities at the bottom of my note. I can do the same things with these highlights as I showed with the web highlights. And if you want to see uh, more in depth about this, then check out the video that I will link somewhere on the screen about what to do once you've actually taken some reading notes. So this video has shown you the three different ways that you can currently work with web links around capacities. You might be wondering why there isn't an option that saves a web link and all of the web page with it directly to capacities. And we don't have an integration like this. We would always recommend that you use a specific bookmarking tool for that. And there's a reason behind that. If you just import everything that captures your interest to capacities, then over time it's going to get really busy. And it's probable with the rate of information overload in this world that you are capturing more than you're actually using. And the way to keep capacities a calming place that actually helps you with information overload it's good to be a bit more selective about what comes into it. On top of that, bookmarking tools, highlighting tools, even down to calendars and task managers, the same concept applies. And that is that they have whole teams behind them focusing on making the best product in that realm. As a note-taking app, we can't offer all of these things, but we can offer really good integrations between them. So this video talks you through some of the integrations we have for web highlighting, but we also have various other integrations, which you can see in the documentation. So I'll end the video here. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, but do check out the description box of this video because there'll likely be many links in there that can help you decide what workflows that you want to do with web highlighting.